Shalom, I'm Rabbi Jonathan Ginsberg of the Ezra Habonim Niles Township Jewish Congregation. I'm beginning a series called Jewish Values. There'll be 38 of them and they'll be divided into short videos. These values do not occur in any classic book, but all of the terms and ideas do occur throughout Jewish tradition. It's a wonderful way to understand some basic and fundamental Jewish ideas. I hope through this course over video, we'll be able to expand our knowledge about fundamental Jewish ideas and the principles upon which Judaism are founded. The very first idea, the value, is called Adam Echad, one Adam, for Adam who began the Bible. This idea teaches us that we all come from one person. Whether we take it literally or not, and many Jews do not, the idea is fundamentally important. That no one can say, as the Mishnah tells us, that my father is better than your father if we all come from the same fellow. This basic idea goes to the fundamental divine aspects of every human being. Whether you're Jewish or not Jewish, whatever color your skin, your IQ, your height, your weight, every human being is entitled to basic human dignity. I know this flies in the face of so many cultural ideas out there, especially Nazism, which said that Jews were inferior, or any kind of racism or phobias about other people. Every human being deserves dignity because no one can say, my father was better than yours. The concept of one Adam, Adam Echad. Concept number two, Ohev et Habriot, to love your fellow creatures. This goes to the very same basic idea that we must love all of God's creation. When the Torah begins by saying God created the heaven and the earth and God looked and saw it was very good, God didn't say that was good and this was not good, but all of creation is good. We must give basic respect and love to all God's creatures and to all our fellows. Now this may mean that uh, we can't treat other things unfairly or harmfully. It doesn't mean necessarily that we can't eat products of nature, although some people say we can't, but everything has to be treated with dignity and respect. And so value number two is Ohev et Habriot, to love your creatures. Now some may consider value number three paradoxical because it teaches us that every Jew is responsible for every other Jew. Call Yisrael Arivim Zabazet. Now, sadly, according to the current sociological statistics, about half of the Jews don't feel that this is true. But it is a basic Jewish idea. I sense it when I hear people traveling around and they say they stopped in this community or they bumped into a Jew there and they felt a special connection. This does not contradict values number one and two. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't treat every non-Jew with respect and dignity. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't love all other creatures. It doesn't mean that we think that Jews are better in any way. But just that we have a special connection borne out by a long historic heritage and ideas and moving together through all time. And so that's the reason why Jews historically have given tzedakah, help, to other Jews. Not that we haven't given it to other people, and we'll learn later on in this course that we should, but that we have a special connection. So some Jew who's uh, aging and living in Poland and needs the help of a Jew here if they've never met, we do feel that kingship. That gave rise to the whole federated giving system where we stretch our hands across the oceans to other communities, to Israel and wherever Jews live, to feel it. And so this is a value idea number three, to feel the commitment and connection of Jews everywhere. These are values one through three. We'll continue in further videos. Hello. No. Not that I know. I mean, 